put a smile on your face when you're moving from place to place. place. Good morning. Welcome back to the morning show on Tobago Updates Television. Well, we begin conversations this morning in studio and we speak with Inspector Mahalia Bacchus from the Trinidad and Tobago Police Services and, of course, our weekly crime updates uh, for activities here on the island of Tobago. And we also address uh, back-to-school challenges this morning as well. Good morning and welcome. Good morning, Adana, and good morning to your listening public as well. Right. And, you know, it's always a pleasure for me when I have conversations with any representative mm -hmm. from the TTPS here on this show uh, because we kind of get some insight as to what is happening on the island of Tobago. And, you know, in recent past, we've been having a lot of activity and, you know, the police have been very, very busy, active mm -hmm. in terms of trying to curb crime, apprehend um, the culprits and, you know, try to keep the place as peaceful as possible. So let's bring us um, up to speed as to what has happened over the past week as it relates to um, criminal activities and detection of crime. OK, so um, first of all, I just want to say um, over the Independence Weekend, we had a crime free weekend, which I'm very happy that um, the persons in Tobago were well behaved. We had the, the parade on Saturday morning, as well as the fireworks in the night time. There was even a regatta at the Esplanade area, and we had no reports of any serious incidents or anything like that. So I want to say congratulations to the general public for um, having a good weekend this weekend. Overall, um, I know there was an incident in Goodwood. It was a buzz on the social media where there was an incident involving a police, a uh, shooting involving a police officer. Um, he was in the process of effecting an arrest. He's on vacation leave, but he's, he's still doing his duty because even though we are on leave or we are off, we are always still working as police officers. And he was effecting an arrest on someone who was using obscene language and other persons intervened and got involved, which resulted in the shooting. But it is being investigated at this point in time and the police has two persons in custody. Um, I want to shout out to Sergeant Stewart as well. He's resting comfortable and to let him know that the service is there for him. I want to make something, I want to get something clear. Um, you mentioned that the officer is on vacation. However, yes, he was effecting the arrest. And I want for the clarity for myself and for our viewing public that even though a police officer is on vacation, um, he still has the authority to he make that He still has that authority because he's still a police officer. He's still a member of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service because he would have also called for assistance at that point in time. It's similar to a doctor being on vacation and, and you know, still mm -hmm. if a situation arises, they still have to intervene. Right. So I just wanted to make that clear mm -hmm. to our viewers this morning. Um, so tell us now about in terms of, you know, all the happenings that happened over the past couple of months. Yes. Uh, where are we in terms of um, investigating these matters and, you know, um, uh, of course, again, putting things in place to ensure that um, the place can remain. Because I, too, am happy that the Independence Weekend was, you know, incident-free. Mm -hmm. And we want to continue um, in this vein. I don't want there to be, you know, surprises that we with that kind of out of control. So where are we in terms of um, managing the situation, as it were? Right. So um, at this point in time, a lot of the matters that took place are under investigation at this point in time. The Homicide Investigation Bureau, led by Acting Inspector Joe Field, they are actively pursuing a lot of those homicides that we received over the period of time. But I want to encourage the general public that in order for this to come to a stop, they have to work with the police. There are several things that people need to do, one of which we, we have to stop tolerating and encouraging persons who want to engage in some of these illegal activities. We know the persons who have the firearms. We know the persons who are dealing with the drugs and so on. Reach out to the police. There are so many ways without, even if you don't want to talk to somebody directly, that you can um, send the information so that we can deal with these persons. If you look at the crimes that are being perpetrated, the majority of them are being uh, perpetrated using firearms. And a gun can't fire by itself. Somebody is using it. Then we have the proliferation of gangs in our communities now. People are take, carrying numbers on them. Sometimes even a lot of young children are joining these gangs. And this is causing a lot of the problems because a lot of the homicides that we experience are gang related. Mm. Uh, and so again, of course, it takes a community, you know, uh, the community efforts. And as you rightfully say, sometimes we are aware or even sometimes maybe you might see somebody strange in your neighborhood or strange activity happening in your neighborhood. I think it's something that we should report, especially seeing how things have been happening over the past uh, few months here on the island of Tobago. So I, too, will want to join with the TTPS to encourage us, you know, if we see something, you know, say something. And of course, as Inspector said, there are ways that you can report anonymously. Uh, there's five, five 
five tips there is uh tell me some of the numbers um you can call 999 that go that goes directly to the police it could be transferred to the tobago we have the different numbers at the station scarborough 639 1200 um 211 as well you could call in tobago and and leave information and it will get to the police. Absolutely amazing. And I do hope that, you know, as you continue to work, because the, the TTPS has a lot of work to do, you know, especially in the Tobago space. Because, you know, Tobago is a space where we are used to feeling safe and secure. And, you know, back in the day, I know things have changed. I know time has evolved. But back in the day, you leave home and you didn't lock your front door. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about exactly. anything, yeah. uh, you know, because we were safe then. Uh, things have changed. Yes, I know you have to be a bit more cautious, uh, but the TTPS has a lot of work to do. So I do hope that, you know, we come together as a community to assist so that we can get to where we want to be safely. Uh, and, you know, we want to talk now. We want to shift gears a little bit. Uh, our children are back out to school today. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of things are happening in this space. Uh, we have movement now of children. We have some of them having to use public transportation. Um, we have private drop-offs, parents dropping their children off to school. So traffic on the nation's roads. We have so many things going on. Um, children now meeting up with their friends over a period of time. And then you have this, this situation where some children might be comparing, look at my shoes, look at my bag. <laughs> and this one didn't get a new bag or this didn't get a new shoe. And so now we're talking about... Um, protecting our children in school or the challenges that they might face with going back to school and where does the TTPS fit into this and where do they stand in terms of providing a measure of support as the children head back out to school? Well, um, in, in relation to school, I want to say all, to all the tiny thoughts heading out today, the anxious parents, you know, it's, it's always, a, always a good thing, you know, children going out to new schools today. Um, in terms of transportation, I'm encouraging parents to make sure that you make the proper arrangement when it comes to transportation of your kids. If it's not the maxis that are provided, if you're hiring someone, please look into who you're hiring to take the child back and forth to school, right? If you're putting them into a taxi because um or, or a private vehicle, sometimes it's good to take the number plate of that vehicle. Always look at um if you're not there taking them yourself, ensure that you could communicate that the child has reached to school. You understand? Sometimes children, they cannot use the phone at school at certain times, but at least if they do have a cell phone, they communicate with you that mommy I reached, they switch off the cell phone, go to school at the end of the school to, um, and on the afternoon, you call your mommy or your, your daddy to say, well, um, school is over. I'm on my way, on my way home. Especially if the parent is still at work. They got, they get home contact you to say that I am I'm at home you know this is important because we don't want anybody turning up missing and then you don't have the information as to the car um where you dropped off the child or where, where you took the taxi from at the point in time and that kind of thing so you need to make the appropriate arrangement for the child to get to school I'm also encouraging parents to be very active with the PTAs at school I was privileged over the weekend on Friday to be a part of my old school um Golden in government with the, the PTA and the alumni. They did a um, back to school distribution of stationeries and school bags and so on. And I felt really proud. I was able to give a little pep talk to the parents as well, you know, as to how to encourage the children and to encourage them to continue to be a part of the PTA. Because when you support the kids at that level, you tend to build and help them to, to grow and to become better members of society. And it helps them to, um, to be better students as well too, seeing the parents participating in those activities. And that's right, you know, is it, it really it brings <coughs> home now to it takes a village. Because when when I when you attend PTA meetings, uh, sometimes the numbers are very, very low. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's good to see that a PTA is coming out and doing things. And the children kind of feel if you are committed to the school, the child will commit to the school. Exactly. If your child knows that you are coming to school for a meeting with other parents, mm -hmm. the child the attitude of the the child changes. changes yes. The child is more, you know, lenient towards um, obeying the school yes. rules. And the uh, you know, and values of that's the school, right. Yes. That's right. And you know, and this is what we need from our parents. I know sometimes it's challenging. Um, you might have other things. Whether you are working over time, you yourself as a parent might have extra classes mm -hmm. or other responsibilities. But a PTA meeting is held probably once a month. Exactly. You know, so uh, the extra support. effort uh, to ensure that your your presence are visible yes. uh, for your child to see that you're supporting the school. And you know, some children, when they see their, their mommy or daddy coming up to school, mm -hmm. they say, oh gosh, my mommy coming up to school. <laughs> so, you know, you, you have that, that measure of respect exactly, uh, yes. for the school when you are turning up there as well. I also want well. to mention that um, something of importance when it comes to the, the children is to monitor their online activities. 
right? The, I spoke about the cell phones earlier. Some of them, they have tablets and so on. Parents don't sometimes pay attention to what their children are doing online. Sometimes they join groups that they're not supposed to be in and participating with them. Um, they're on social media, such as Facebook, Instagram, and that kind of thing, posting photos of themselves, which could um, lead to them ending up being victims later on. So we have to be careful because it starts at home and then it, and it ends up with them in their school goals, thinking that they are going to school and they're not going to school because of the online activities that they participate in. So parents need to pay attention to their child's online activities. That's right. And, you know, um, in closing, Inspector, I want you to give some closing remarks to our teachers, our parents, and our students that are, you know, back to school today. Because at the end of the day, we want to have a, a perfect back to school day, first day of school. Yes. And we also want to have a good term. We want children to behave. Mm -hmm. We want parents to be present. And we want that measure of support also for the teachers and the teaching staff yes. in school. So in closing, what would you like to say to those groups of persons? What I would like to say to them is that if we work together, we could have a lot done. Teamwork makes the dream work. So parents work with the teachers. Teachers, you also need to look at the situation some parents may be in and try to be as emotional, emotionally intelligent as best you can to their conditions, their situations, and to support them as well too. Children, listen to your parents. Children, you need to be careful on the roadway. All that you do, parents as well, to monitor your child's activities, what they do, where they are, that kind of thing. So if we all work together, we will have a wonderful first day and continuing. Absolutely, absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, we're speaking with uh, Inspector Mahalia Bacchus of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Services. And we're talking about back to school, the safety of our children. And, you know, hoping for the best for our first day back out to school today. And, of course, for the rest of the term. Uh, she also brought some updates as it relates to crime here on the island of Tobago. And, of course, encouraging communities to come forward and work together with the TTPS as we restore Tobago back to its peaceful self. We have to go for a short break before we continue conversation this morning and as we go we invite you to help us share the life share the life share the life